next three. You got a couple of true freshmen arriving this summer, and Trey coming off a serious injury. Just what do you see from the three young guys? Yeah, I mean, good. Those two young guys are kind of what we thought they were. You know, it's just all about reps with them. Um, just got to get them up to speed as fast as we can. Trey's almost back to 100 percent, and once he's back to 100 percent, it'll be a, a good battle for that three spot right now. In terms of tomorrow, you're expecting Seven and Byron to get the the lion's share. Yep, absolutely. We'll see Dan Travis do anything tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Based on what you saw in the spring, are you confident, you know, the depth of this group, you happy you kind of where you guys are at right now? If some of the younger guys need to step in, they're capable of doing so. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I love this the depth we've had since I've been here, so it's a good problem to have. Coach, you, uh, you guys, it's kind of been a, a tradition at Oregon uh, to have just an embarrassment of riches in the backfield. Uh, how do you kind of approach that being the, the coach there, that position? I mean, my job is to get them all ready to play. I mean, you know, we have a lot of depth, a lot of talent back there. We have one ball. And we're in a one-back offense, so you, know, you got to pick and choose where, where you play them and uh, get the best out of each, each one of them. You know, they all do things differently. They're all good at something else, so got to put them in the right spot to make plays. You obviously expect a lot of your guys, Jim. At the same time, running back is one of those skill positions that, I mean, traditionally speaking, you can get on the field faster at their, you know, on the line to scrimmage your quarterback or something. Mm -hmm. Do you ascribe to that, or because you ask so much, is it a little bit of a adjustment? To no, I do. I, I agree with you 100%. You know, with our – our backs are so involved in the passing game now. That's kind of the big thing they have to learn is in the passing game, where, where they go and where they fit. And so once they get that figured out, you know, you got to let, let them go play. You know, it's just, it's just nothing beats game reps. And so tomorrow in the scrimmages, we got to get those guys game reps. What's Byron's biggest skill set? I mean, if seven is more the agile, nimble guy, yeah. what's Byron bringing to the table? Big and powerful. You know, he's big. He's 210 pounds and still hasn't figured out his body yet. Once he does, I mean, it's going to be... And it's going to be uh, endless for him. Coach, when we're looking at Travis Dye, I know when I kind of first learned about him, I know he was a smaller guy, more known for his speed, but he just really developed in kind of a, a do-it-all guy. What can you say about his development since he got here? Oh, absolutely. I mean, COVID last year took away from the year that he had. You talk a guy that averaged 20 yards a catch and like seven yards a carry. That's unheard of. But I think because of all the distractions last year, no one really recognized what he did. Now he's taking his body and his game to the next level. I mean, there's not two better backs in this league than Travis and CJ. And um, I'll, I'll go to the end with that. These guys are two experienced, smart, physical backs. I don't know if this is it's getting too much into it, um, but you know, it's like we were talking about with so many talented backs. <coughs> How, how do how do you kind of go about selling Oregon when there's so many so much talent ahead of them? You know, to maybe guys that are looking to come in, like yeah. it's hard to get a guy that's going to start right away. Maybe when there's so many good guys here. Yeah, well, just to make a long story short. That's why we take one back every year only. It's like a quarterback. You take one quarterback every year. We're going to take one back every year. So you sell it. So does, does that mean you're looking at seven more as a receiver then? Do you guys no, nope. we're or? not taking them back in this year's class. Oh, okay. So that's that was okay. kind of my selling point to coaches. I wanted Byron so bad. Give him, give me him last year, and we won't, we won't, as of now, take one this year. Yeah, I know you guys got into the picture a little bit later with, with Byron, mm -hmm. correct, if that's correct. Yep. Um, but so you said you wanted him so bad. What, what made you just, want him so he's, badly? He's just an elite. He's an elite. Him and seven are elite athletes for freshmen. Yeah. All right. Man, that's all well, I have. Thanks, guys. Appreciate, Appreciate it, Coach.